This Eevee evolution, because it's an Eevee, and this one is to Nivion. It's level 100 Riolu, evolve it, and now we have Lucolis. Lucolis. Alright, so we're just gonna go ahead and Black Sludge. Let's see, what are we gonna get? And we get Vineon. Oh, alright, oh, Rockstar, it's gonna be an exciting day here in Kabamon. So, I'm gonna get a few more custom Pokemon today, but let's go ahead and kick it off with our daily wonder trade. Bye bye, little score buddy. What are we gonna get out of you? Ooh, Murkrow. Something I have just avoided to capture, because it's usually a pain in the butt for me in Pixelmon. Well, since we have Murkrow, we might as well go ahead and grab evolution items. We got four dust stones. Let's take one of these bad boys and evolve him into Haunch Crawl. So that way we make sure we have him done for the decks. Easy peasy. Boom. Evolve into Haunch Crow. Hi, buddy. Alright, so we have Haunch Crow. Our basics are out of the way. Let's go ahead and add him to the list of Pokemon we still have. That didn't make much sense. But what I'm going to do today is I want to get a custom EV evolution. So I have attempted every evolution item that I currently have in this evolution chest. So I know it's none of these. But I know there are at least two more evolutions for Eevee, a uh, poison and I think ice that's not Glaceon or some type of version, Niveon, that I don't know how to get overall, which really sucks. We can buy evolution items and not knowing which items work or not is going to be extremely helpful since we know a selection of them. Because either the regular stones like water, fire, ice, and thunderstones obviously are going to evolve it from a custom evolution or to the regular evolution. To start off with, let's go ahead and let's get this Riolu checked out because I was told that the reason our custom evolution for Riolu isn't going through because we've seen now it's just Lucario. Something I didn't even think about. I went over every standard of evolution and I completely forgot about daytime versus nighttime cycles. So that's where we're going to get that custom Riolu evolution. So that's going to be super cool since we have a level 100 Riolu that we've just tried to evolve already. All right, so let's go ahead and go to warp shop because we got to wait till it's nighttime. But in the shop, we can buy evolution items that we don't have and try to test them on our boy here. So hopefully Eevee can evolve. Let's go ahead and we've tried all the regular stones except for dawn stone i believe so we're gonna grab a dawn stone we've tried metal coat oval stone that's a good one maybe a protector i think dragon scale gave us jacina or jacino there was a good or was it a dragon fang that gave us that specific evolution i don't remember we can try king's rock i doubt it's gonna do much prism scale why not reaper cloth is a good idea i've got the money to spend let's go ahead and get black augur right as well a deep sea scale actually you know what? i probably should just pick up basically everything okay i have bought every single evolution an item that either thought was useful or I had the money and could fill my inventory up with. So let's go home. All right, so while we wait for it to be nighttime for Riolu, let's go ahead and let's test a bunch of these evolution items. So a Dawn Stone and no effect. What about an Oval Stone? Still no effect. A Protector, no effect. There's got to be another evolution item that's pretty obvious that we just haven't hit yet. Reaper Cloth, Black Augurite. These are not very fancy ones. That, oh, not very fancy ones. These are not ones I considered I thought would work at all. None of these are. Most of these are just extra extra ones I bought because I realized I could and I was going to need them at some point or another. We've also used non-regular items like I'm pretty sure we used a dragon fang specifically to get a specific EV evolution that was a dragon type but it looks like a fire type so I guess it wouldn't be surprising if they had a different item for these evolutions while I, I'm sticking to basic evolution items in general which we've really seen doesn't always work the case so nope none of these work okay so that's good to know I figured a bunch of these absolutely wouldn't work uh, well considering none of those items work that's kind of disappointing i mean we can go ahead and warp back to the shop right but the question is what are we gonna buy so i guess the next things we want to want to look at are things like held items because that's what we had before with like a dragon fang i think is what gave us so maybe black sludge for an espion or not espion a poison type you think a hard stone would work and i'm pretty sure i have one of these but we'll buy another one just in case a magnet you know what, why not plus i'm gonna need these things anyways now a poison barb could also be poison so we'll go ahead and get that as well and most of those are the items that i expect to work otherwise i'm not sure which one of these would actually work so we're just gonna go ahead and try these all right so we're just gonna go ahead and black sludge well okay black sludge did work perfect literally awesome okay let's see what are we gonna get and we get vineon oh look at vineon that is cool it's more pink than i expected i expected more purple or poison but that is still a really cool design look at that tail the tail is sweet this is really sick okay this is cool i like the design overall let's see we should go ahead and just boost you with lots of rare candies because i want to see what level you'll become and what moves you'll learn all right level 50 so you've got to have a decent move set selection so bite baton pass charm nothing special so far Ooh, corrosive gas that is interesting user surrounds everything around you with highly acidic gas melt away items they hold that's really cool you've got toxic acid armor gunk shot Ooh, that seemed really interesting so you have a lot of physical attacks and a lot of setup moves so i think you're more of a 
stall Pokemon, which most poison Pokemon are. That's still really neat, though. And I would assume physical attacker based off the set of moves that you're allowed. Here we are, nighttime, everyone, and we've got two Eevees. So I'm gonna try out the rest of the items we got just to be sure to make sure we're not missing out of any other obvious evolutions. But what we can do is go ahead, take this level 100 Riolu, evolve it, and now we have Luke. Protus, Lucalus, is that how you say it? Let's go ahead and evolve and see what this guy looks like. Ooh, interesting for sure. He gives me a bit of a like, Lycanroc vibe, just the way he stands and all. Definitely an interesting design overall. Definitely doesn't quite feel Riolu-ish. Like, a lot of the custom evolutions have felt natural to their designs. This one feels a little off. I think it's just me, though, in overall, because I'm not expecting Riolu evolution to be on four paws whatsoever. A Steel Dark type is what you are, so you lose your fighting type completely completely that's really really interesting overall do you gain any interesting moves overall law jock bite home claws fire fang u-turn and spite wow and holy crap adamantium molars what is that extreme speed not too surprising about that crunch is kind of obvious as well but there are definitely some very interesting moves in here as well that is really really cool i am really really intrigued by this pokemon he might be a custom one i just have to use but while we're on the hot take more custom pokemon Let's go ahead and let's check out this Eevee evolution because it's an Eevee and I don't know if I've already clicked it to with a stone or something. So let's just evolve it. And this one is to Niveon. How did I? How? How? Because it's not got any happiness. It's only at 19%. It's only leveled up. It's not even Eevee trained. So I'm not sure why this thing is going to evolve. But Niveon and Niveon is a flying type if I saw that correctly. It is a flying type. You have Discharge, Aero Blast, Bounce, and Air Slash. Yo, you are just stacked, yo. I'm you might be able to run literally an entire EV team, which that was possible before all these custom evolutions, let alone all these evolutions that were just absolutely insane. But let's go ahead and try the rest of these items real quick. And nope, you don't evolve with that. No hardstone, no charcoal stick. Magnet doesn't do anything, and a miracle seed. None of them do anything. It's interesting for sure. And we didn't really figure out how Niveon works, even though we know exactly how we we don't know exactly how we got it but we got it. i'm yeah i'm very confused on how our niveon evolution worked out but i mean i'll guess keeks will tell me in the comments down below of this episode or anyone else so make sure you guys do comment like and subscribe if you guys are enjoying by the way because i already had a niveon but this one was gifted to me so i did want to figure out how we got it and i'm very very intrigued by Venion, the actual straight up poison evolution this is dracanion or dracion which is the original one i think from a dragon fang evolution for ev but rockstars we've gotten a lot of custom evolutions today and a lot of new pokemon so if you guys enjoy hit that subscribe button and i will see you all next time peace peace rock stars